I find a new way to create this crystal earbud. I want to show you how to do it. Also, there were some technical issues in my previous live broadcast to compare the different type of earbuds. So I'm also redoing that part of the comparison in this video. Before we go on, please remember to click subscribe and forward this video to people who may be interested as well. Thank you. You need this to make your own crystal earbud. We have an instant dry strong glue, a softer glue that can dry it in a day, a piezoelectric buzzer with a hole in the middle, the tubes from the hearing aid earbud that you can buy. I will give you the link. and a pair of smartphone or a damaged smartphone earphone so we can cut off one end of it and reuse the cable for our crystal earbud if you don't have this type of uh, damaged smartphone earbud just uh, purchase the checks and the cable and make your own The first thing we need to do is divide the threads within the cable into a different colors and then solder one end of it to melt the paint because these are all magnet wires you need to melt the paint before they conduct you have to put a bit of solder there on each end then we can use this multimeter switch to the one ohm mode so we can test the connectivity so put the black one or the tip and try out each thread see which one is connecting so this one the green thread is connecting then we find out which thread connects to the second part of the check so we find a blue thread there connected to the second part now we move on to the third part of the check so now we find the golden thread is connecting to the thread part of the jack and then we retest all the three sections again the tip the second part and the third part and we confirm which thread is connecting after that we chop off the threads that we don't need to avoid short circuit and then three threads will remain then we need to solder the threads that connects to the second part of the check to the third part of the check because they both should be connected to ground of the audio connection and the remaining one connects to the tip is the green thread all this color may change depending on which brand of smartphone you're using or which cable you're using so just test it one by one don't don't follow the same coloring system that i just told you because they may be different next Let's use the twister to open up the cover of the buzzer. Be careful to keep the whole case intact, otherwise uh, you can't close it afterwards. So you see that there's a small circuit board and on the other side there's a metal plate and a ceramic plate. So what we need to do now is to remove all the spare components. Just use the solder iron to solder and melt the solder get rid of all the components but leaving behind the exoelectric uh, metal at the other end
After this is done, you are left with an empty circuit board and the piezoelectric components at the other end. So look at the threads connecting there. There are three threads. Two of them connect to the white metal to the circuit boards. These two need to be short circuited together. The one that connects to the golden part, it will be your other pole. So we only have two poles. So let's solder in the thread for the crystal earphone. Solder one of the threads to the golden part of the ceramic. Solder the other one to the white part. Then use the multimeter to test. You should hear some clicking sound. Next, tie a knot at the thread so you won't come out easily. And close the cover. Then apply this soft glue. Don't use the very instant drying glue because that one is too strong. Uh, when the cable got loose and you may need to open up this cover, so don't use too strong glue. Otherwise, you will regret when you reopen it, you will damage the box. Next, we need to use this strong instant drying glue. Put some on a flat surface and then just roll your hearing aid tube onto it so enough glue is applied make sure you align it with the hole in the center then we can plug in the cushion the silicon cushion so it will fit nicely in our ear. Last is the top of the ear. Not, not our ear, but the ear of the, the buzzer. So it will be run. Use a file or sandpaper to smooth out the edges. So there you have it. Your own crystal earphone. Next, let's test each earphone. This is the red earphone. This is my best crystal earphone that I made. This is the commercial crystal earbud. This is the one that I just made yesterday using the type of buzzer that I think would be the best. This is one is a second best. This one is a bit worse. This one is too big to drive, but if you've got a good output, it's very good. This one is a regular smartphone earbud. This one is the Japan one that I bought. This is by far the best crystal earbud that I got. Uh, it's actually a read. Ear, but you can hear the bass and the treble as if it's a hi-fi radio. I bought this Japanese earbud from Akihabara in Tokyo. I find that uh, the base is okay, but a bit soft.
This one is the commercial crystal earbud. The bass is missing and not too loud. Uh, this one is my second best crystal earphone, the one that I just created yesterday. And this one is among the worst. It's soft and the bass is not that good. Because this EF part is bigger, the bass comes better, but it's softer. The last EF part I want to show you is this hearing aid ear part. Uh, sensitivity is okay. Not as good as my best read earbud. When you buy this thing, they come with a cable. If you don't have the cable, you need to buy it because there's a special connector, one big pin, one small pin that need to plug into the end of the earbud to make the connection. The quality of the sound is not too good. You hear only treble, but not bass. This is still a viable alternative if you cannot get hold of a better earbud or one of the DIY crystal earbuds. I will put the link of the online shopping site AliExpress which is available in US and Taobao.com available in China and Hong Kong. You can buy this uh, very cheaply. I will make a video of how to hook up and wire this type of hearing aid earbud. Stay tuned. That's all the testing I have done. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and send it to your friends. Thank you.